everyone i hope you're doing amazing today we're looking at the tropics here so of course this is my second tra uh, channel weather extras where i post additional updates additional content about uh, not only the weather but other uh geological or geographical phenomena but today we are just one day away well actually a couple hours out from the official start of the hurricane season and we're looking at the infrared weather satellite there's some severe weather moving through parts of the u.s right now and the Caribbean, the Southwest Caribbean in particular, has been quite active. Now, that little cluster you're seeing in the Pacific, that is in association with the first tropical wave of the year that emerged from Africa. So it traveled all the way across the Atlantic, through the Caribbean, and now it is over the Eastern Pacific, where it could try to develop, although it is given a low chance of that happening. There is another tropical wave that is within the vicinity of the Caribbean, but there are three more out there. We've got one that recently emerged, one that is currently emerged in from Africa, and there's another which is approaching the Eastern Caribbean islands. So it is getting quite active out there. However, these are not expected to intensify into tropical cyclone. What has my attention, though, uh, is not necessarily about development, but rather a significant rainfall surge for parts of the Caribbean as we're going to be heading into next week. So we're going to be looking at what the models have to show. And uh, the first thing, though, is that development is not impossible. We're about to head into June, and this is the typical track uh, of our systems in June. So they typically re uh, originate from the Caribbean, and they may make their way up to the Gulf, or they can impact parts of the Caribbean as well. And this doesn't mean they only take this route. It's, to ju uh, it's just that this is a common, uh, commonly observed route of tropical cyclones that develop in the month of June. Now let's take a look at two of our models, the GFS and the Euro models, to see what they are expecting for the next couple of days. So this map may be pretty confusing, but those green colors you're seeing all around, that is indicating the moisture, the precipitation rate. So there we have the forecast time, and as we're going to be heading into this weekend, going into early next week, the GFS model is showing that we're going to see an air of low pressure try to get itself together in the Caribbean, and we see all this moisture around the Northern Islands, such as Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Hispaniola, even uh, towards the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as well. The Euro model is somewhat in agreement with this. So as we're going to be heading into early next week, we do see that increase in moisture across the islands through Monday and as we head into Tuesday as well. So we've got some consistency uh, with these models in terms of that increase in moisture. And it is good in a sense because many places have been so dry and in need of a rainfall relief. The velocity of rivers have slowed significantly in some areas and uh, we know that uh, especially in the Caribbean we use a lot of these natural water sources for uh, domestic purposes or agricultural purposes. So we definitely need the water sources to be replenished. And that is the advantage of this upcoming rainfall increase. But the problem is there are some areas which are prone to flooding. And with enough rain, even in a short amount of time, that can result in flash flooding. Let's look at the rain totals expected by both of these models and we're starting out with the GFS model. Okay, so the different colors here are representing the rainfall amounts in inches. And there we have the key or the legend to the right side of your screen to show how much inches of rain each color represents. Now, we can see these very vibrant shadings of purples, pinks, and even that gray shade into the south of Jamaica. That's rainfall amounts probably exceeding 15 inches over the course of the next five days. So this is not all for one day but through the start of Wednesday of next week. So from now on Friday through Wednesday, that is, uh, this is the accumulated rain expected in the area. So we could see additional heavy downpours in parts of southern Central America, such as Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, even the islands of San Andres and Providencia. That rainfall increase is going to be kicking in for parts of Jamaica. For now, GFS is favoring the highest totals in the eastern part of the island. And then for Haiti, the Tiburon Peninsula, could experience a lot of rain as well if what the GFS model is showing comes to fruition. Other surrounding areas, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Cuba, the Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos may also experience that substantial rainfall increase. And then we're heading on to the Euro model. Now, Euro, uh, through this time frame here, is not expecting as much rain compared to the GFS. We're not seeing those very intense, very bright, 
uh, pink shadings or those grays popping up. But uh, we are seeing that it is still colorful nonetheless. So the same areas within the vicinity of Central America, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, uh, even for Hispaniola parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, we're definitely seeing where that uh, increase in rainfall is expected, that substantial increase in rain. So GFS showed the heaviest rain a bit further to the east. Meanwhile, the euro has it a little bit further to the west. So it's really to see where all that moisture, all the convection, the showers, thunderstorms set up over the course of the coming days. But that is for sure something which is expected. And with that happening persistently, uh, days of a lot of rain, the soil can become saturated. We can have those instances of flooding. But as I mentioned earlier, it would be good for uh, those areas which have been experiencing a lot of drought conditions. So that is the advantage of this. But again, the flood threat is going to be an issue. However, my main channel, Weather Girl Danny, will have all your daily updates on what is going on. And any additional updates needed will be posted to this channel, Weather Extras, along with other weather content. So stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching this video. Do stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day.